Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. I have a swipe card. I kind of think I should have used my wait, wet paper towels, but I don't have a lot of them. I do have some water, so I could probably change my mind. Show you guys what I do. Just add that water to those paper towels. Keep them on standby. They'll absorb the rest. I am going to grab some black paint and put puddles of it everywhere. Sort of equidistantly. I hope it doesn't dry fast. I probably should have done things one at a time. And I'm thinking about Maybe one more over here. And put some Decor at Americana 24 karat gold. And start with my pink diamond. And use how much of my card, that much of my card. And then just keep moving. Blue and the electric blue. And some more. Black cell activator is made of Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam Black. And I'm going to knock off whatever's on my edge, put it right there. And that might have been a little more than I should have done. And I've got some bottles in the way. I should have used the gold is what I should have done. Not much for letting sleeping dogs lie. Let's grab some purple this time and use the other side. This is a dioxazine purple. It's just a Hobby Lobby Master's Touch. I'm going to use my residuals right here. I might fill up everything. This may or may not work. But I have learned my lesson about the gold, I think. The gold is important. Without the gold, you don't get gold cells. I'm going to go back. I said that and then I tried to do it without it. I'm contemplating just using the blue and the purple cell activator. I like how that looks. Okay, I'm thinking I've got an odd shape going on here. So let's go with the flow. I don't know what this is going to turn into. <laughs> I had an idea. I really did. But right now I don't have as much of an idea as I used to. Or that needs the tip cleared out. But I do have a color palette. And 
and I may double swipe. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about going down here. I think I, I'm going to take a risk and use some of the Anita's White Metallic because I found it works really well for a lot of things. I'm using the Hot Orchid from Color Art. The Pink Diamond is the new replacement. I'm going to snag a little bit of white, I think, which is also an Amsterdam white. I'm just going to make texture. I might even pull out my toothy tools. I'm just using my residuals and I'm loving the way that looks. That's pretty cool. Just using my card to leave marks behind. Liking all of that. I like the pink too. I wish I'd remember to put the gold down though. Hot Orchid and Anita's White Metallic with some pink in it. And then we're going to go for the purple again. Although I really like how that white looks. Not ready to do more marks, am I? Not so sure about that one, but I am sure that I liked how the white one went. Just going to move that right down. And hope I can get some more cobalt blue from Artist Loft, which is metallic. I think I'm going to do some more pink as well. That is Pink Diamond. This is the White Amsterdam White with Aussie Floetrol. picking up some paint and leaving a mark. I may fill in with something. I may just continue right on. Especially since I know that white is Aussie Floetrol and we'll leave. Excuse me. I'm back. I need something right here. Maybe it should be... Yeah, I'm going to use that over here. Some electric blue. And some gold. And then, maybe some white again. Oh, I've got beautiful colors on my card. Okay, so definitely going over here. 
I'm glad I put the black down first. Speaking of black, I think that's what I know. I'm going to go with, yeah, I am. I thought I was going to go with purple, but I'm going to go with black. Let some lines interrupt each other because it makes an interesting pattern and I'm just that brazen. I got all kinds of bottles in the way for a change. I've been so good up until now. Well, relatively speaking anyway. I'm going to take my residuals, put them on the edge. I've got that one more. Purple spot. Not sure about the purple spot. Not yet anyway. Almost. So close. <laughs> Not sure at all. I think that might fix it for me. Do I put a little gold on the card? I like the little gold on the card idea. I need some more actually. I've been playing with things I call geometrics for a long time, now that I remember. This reminds me of something I did a while back, quite a while back. I'm trying for appropriate placement, whatever that means. And I think I'm almost done, so I should tell you guys if you want to help me out and you want to do some Christmas shopping, you might want to check out my Amazon link. I have all kinds of great tools, including the Oxo Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula, best paint spreading tool I know of. I'm going to put a little bit of gold right there on that corner. And it's very abstract expressionist, and I think it's pretty well done. cool because I'm always looking for ways to loosen up a little bit. I've got that one big black spot in the middle. And I think I'm going to try and steal some paint from somewhere. If I can find anywhere that has extra. Alright, so this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery tweaking the last little few things and saying that was a good experiment and I'm very happy with my results in spite of the fact that I got a little frightened in the middle but because I wasn't sure that 
I knew what I was going to do because it didn't really seem like it was working out to begin with. But if you just keep going, sometimes you'll get lucky. And if you're not lucky the first time, you can always do it over after it's dry the next day. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'll tell you guys I have, I do sell my artwork and I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And if you're interested in contacting me, use my email address. It's right below the link tree. The link tree is the first blue link under the video. I have an Amazon link on the link tree. If you shop the Amazon link, you'll find my two books because I can and unlimited possibilities. They are the first and the second 100 videos and all the links and all the descriptions of how I did them. These are great colors and I'm really liking this pattern. And it's a really weird geometric and that's a good thing because that's outside my box, my comfort zone. And I like pushing the envelope. And I hope it dries half as well as it looks right now because that would be awesome. And I'm going to try and zoom in for you so you have a chance to see some of the cool patterns, hopefully. You know what, I really want to turn that light out and see if I can show you without a big glare on that one end. Because there are beautiful cells. Yeah, much more dramatic. All right, where was I? Telling you guys I had 2,300 videos organized by topic, genre, and by the 100, and if you need a link, let me know. Wow, it's a long painting. <laughs> I want to tell you on the link tree, there's pixels.com, Fine Art America, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and my Facebook groups for students. If you have questions, please feel free to ask. If you're looking for the paint pouring recipe, it's underneath the video. I love you guys. Thank you for sharing my videos. It really helps my channel out. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. Boosts my morale and helps my channel out. Thank you for watching longer. Big, big, big help. My spring clothing below the video has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts for less money than the Legalorist link on the top of the link tree, which is clothing made in Montreal, investment quality and priced like it and beautiful patterns. And I really need to get busy getting some more patterns on there because I can. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. I really appreciate them. If you are interested in get helping out and being in the monthly drawing, you can see the prizes on the exhibition video at the very beginning. And you'll find the exhibition video on the end screen of this video in the last 20 seconds. What can I say? Community board is tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's video is on the community board. Um, I'm a little lost right now. I'm sorry. I think I told you almost everything I need to tell you. I told you I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and I do sell my artwork, and my email address is below the link tree, and if I didn't, I am now. <laughs> Thank you guys for the wonderful comments and compliments that keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate you, and uh, you inspire the heck out of me. And I will see you anon. I post seven days a week at 1 p.m. in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, right at the moment. So, hope to see you then tomorrow. Bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>